with no canvas. Subscribe right now. Okay, here we go. A very long video here. I'm Paul Roberts, the videographer at the time. This is the last day of school and the school party for the Maryland Institute College of Art in 1986. One of the last days of May, I believe. And this is an unedited raw video that we just are putting on here to share with the world. Hopefully some of the people then will get a chance to see this, and people before then and after then will see what our years were like. And we're not editing this because uh, we're going to break it up into sections. We want to have everything there. So if you're looking for somebody that you know, or you want to just experience a day in the life type of thing, you can sit here and do so. The microphone is broken right now, or not plugged in properly or something, so we'll fix that later on. There's not really very much to listen to. I'll just give you some comments, if I can remember some of the things that were going on at the time, some of the people. There's Susie, that's uh, Ted's girlfriend. There's Ted Albano, Rob Langevin over there. They were roommates of mine, good friends. There's Tom Hutzvet. A lot of these people you saw at the opening, the senior show opening at the Fox. Uh, we have a video of that, just a, a, oh, a, just a few days before this. Ellen Dontigny, I believe her name was. She was one of the counselors at the school. And uh, so you'll, uh, you'll want to maybe watch the senior show also if you're watching this one. See what some of these seniors... Uh, well, actually, we didn't, we didn't show a lot of their work. But uh, see, see them at the show, see what they're up to. So at this point, we've been together, the 218 Lawrence Gang, for approximately a year and a half or two years. Getting ready to start our fourth year, our senior year, after a nice summer break doing whatever we do. And then uh, the one final year together graduated in 1987. The group that uh, I was with mostly were the people that I lived with and hung around with, played music with. Ted Albano, a good friend of mine. Unfortunately, he passed away just a year after this. No, two, year and a year and a half after this. No, about six months after he graduated. Very, very devastating loss. Good friend of mine. There's Rob Langevin. We, we uh, are good friends. He lives up in Maryland still. He teaches art to children. So uh, the future generations might end up here. He keeps it going. He keeps it going. Who knows what those artists are going to bring into the world because of his efforts. What a great career to have. There's Mike Matthews. Somebody threw an egg. He was one of our roommates as well. He graduated this year, 1986, one year ahead of us. We thought this girl was really arty. We never got to know her. But we observed her from a distance. I think she was probably in a lot of our critiques. One of the things about art school that you gotta love it or you gotta hate it, maybe both. We would sit there all morning long, sometimes all day long, and look at the artwork that we did for the class that day. Everybody would hang their artwork up and we would uh, critique it and give comment, go over it and over it and over it and see what people were meaning to, to portray in their artwork, see what people were actually getting from it. 
talk about the, the skill levels, the directions that they were going, and see if we could help one another. There's a great movie that I saw recently called Art School. I, I believe it was part of the Sundance Film Festival. I was in that, and uh, I tell you, there's a lot of things in that movie. If you're interested in uh, seeing more of what it's like to be in art school, that were quite funny. I really enjoyed it. They got really heavy into the story and everything. And it was kind of a kooky kind of story. Um, I kind of enjoyed the movie just for the art school element of it. Yes, I thought they did a really good job with that, if you want to see what it's like to be in art school. And you could just kind of skip over the story. It's, a, it's an interesting story and everything, but, you know, in my opinion, wasn't necessary. But I, I just approached it as an art student and was saying, hey, they really nailed this art school thing really well here. I forget what his name was. I knew him at the time. I believe. I'm not quite sure though. Cindy was though for a while. Tim. He was a assistant, I believe, to Ellen Dantigny the first year. I got to know him through that. He showed me around the school a little bit. Told me a little bit about things. Yeah, I believe he was a roommate of Rob Langevin's uh, the first year. Not first year, second year. Until we brought Rob over to 218 Lawrence Street the second half of the second year. Observing, participating, learning, growing, sharing. This was the last of the old world. And a very special and unique part of the old world as well, of course, because everyone here is into creativity and free expression and art. And this was really, really, really the last of these days. Still a simple world. You know, it's so funny. Back then, I thought, you know, we were trying to make sense of a lot of it. You know, trying to sort it out. And it's so simple now, looking at it. Do you think maybe that the complex world we're living in now will one day, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, be simple once again in looking back? makes me wonder. I look at these videos now and I say, I was, I was searching at the time. I was confused. I was learning so much. I was so innocent and naive and growing and putting my feelers out there, figuring out what life's about, figuring out what everybody else is thinking and doing and what they're all about. And it was all too much at the time, you know. We, we had, with Ted, thank goodness for Ted, Ted and I, we shared our ideas, our philosophies, points of views, just discussed all these types of things. And we, we f made a foundation for one another. We locked each other down to where we could come to grips with what some of this stuff was all about, what people were about, what art was all about, what life was all about, what this art school thing was all about. 
We comforted each other with our discussions. Rob joined in with that as well. Sometimes, and later when he came in into our 218 Lauren Street abode. With no canvas, subscribe right now.